Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and today we have the Galaxy Note 2 here, and beside it we have the ultra slim case for the Galaxy Note 2 by Speakin SGP. Now for those of you who are frustrated already by the size of the Galaxy Note 2, you probably feel that if you go out and get yourself a case that it might be too big to even want to handle anymore or keep in your pocket. So that's where this particular product comes in. And it is incredibly awesome because not only do I find it very thin, but I found it quite protective as well. So I was pretty impressed to find that not only is this very thin and keeps the overall form factor of the phone, but it's quite strong as well because I had to actually drop the phone a couple of times from a decent height of about three feet off a chair or off a table on accident. And when it hit the floor, it was just fine. It protected the phone great. I didn't have any issues with the screen cracking or any dents or damage on the phone. So huge plus. Let's get into this so I can show you exactly what this offers. Inside the box itself you have the case. You've got yourself a little pamphlet and inside is included that screen protector. It is rated about a 4H of hardness on the pencil hardness scale so that means it's going to protect your phone against scratches and it should be not incredibly easy to scratch but dirt and such will scratch it quite easily. I love Spigen's microfiber cloths. They're actually quite good quality so I recommend holding on to this so that you can clean off the case or the screen protector that was included. And you've got a little pamphlet here about their other products and that's all that is in the packaging. The case itself is a strong polycarbonate plastic, so even if you give quite a bend to it, it's not going to deform the case in any way or cause any cracking to it. You've got a decent hole for the camera, which doesn't cause any bounce back from the flash while taking pictures. You've got a hole here for the power button and for the volume rockers. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. You've got a decent hole for the speaker, which is perfectly aligned, and then also you've got a little place for your pen. So let's go ahead and pop the phone into it quite easy to install. I find that one of the best ways is just to align the volume rocker there. Take both edges like so, push down, it installs very easily. Now when putting on the case you probably are going to bump that power button and it turns on. So that's something that uh, annoys me sometimes with these types of cases that are very fitted. A moment ago I was mentioning that there are holes here for the volume rocker and also for the power switch. They are a bit recessed. I haven't had any trouble with my small fingers being able to keep the clickiness and accessibility of this button, but I've had some complaints or heard some complaints from people saying that if they've got bigger fingers or whatever, sometimes they find it a little bit difficult or annoying to press those buttons, but overall I haven't found it to be an issue. One thing that you should probably notice is that it is open here. It doesn't protect the full top and bottom of the phone. Although what was curious is that both times when this had fallen on the ground, it tended to hit the corners. So that didn't seem to be much of an issue, even though that these are open. We all know how fragile Samsung phones are, unfortunately, and one of the things that saved this phone from sudden death when it fell was not only the fact that the corners are well protected, but also that there is a bit of a lip here. So this goes up and over your phone. So if you were to set the phone down on the desk or a table, you're not hitting the screen. And also if it falls flat down, you've got a little bit of protection to not hit directly on your display. Now, if you drop this on rocks or gravel, something that is going to protrude farther than this lip, which is a lot of things, then you're probably not gonna to be too happy with yourself. And you might wanna go for a more protective case. But for minor drops and falls, I've seen this to be incredibly protective, and that was shocking to me. And I've been able to keep that lovely form factor. Toes. So here is the phone here, and we're going to put it into my pocket. It really does keep the nice slim form factor. That's quite excellent. I've got some quite tight jeans, and you can see that it goes in there. It sticks out quite a bit, but for you guys who have bigger, baggier jeans, you're not going to have any issues with this phone causing any more bulk at all. The screen protector that Spigen provides does not go all the way to the edge. You can see that there's a little bit of room left here. The reason is that the glass is slightly curved, so if you want to put a dry install plastic screen protector, it has to stop short, otherwise you'll get some bubble marks. And it won't be very nice because you can get dirt and other things under it and it lifts up a bit. So it's quite nice, their screen protector. And also you can see that it doesn't interfere with the case. What's nice is that every case that I've seen so far, and including this case, has done just fine with this screen protector. So this combination does quite well. 
The back of this is a kind of matte finish and it's held up pretty well against scratches, although you can see that there are some rub or wear marks that tend to occur after a while from being rubbed on the desk or getting dirt in there because it's been rubbed on the desk. So you can see that there's slight discolorations. I've used this for about two months now. Overall, it's been okay. Depending on the color that you get, those rub or wear marks may be more or less noticeable. Although scratches themselves don't show up so easily, so that's st it's still pretty good, I would say. Taking off this case is relatively simple, although I notice it's a tad bit gimmicky, and sometimes I feel if it's not taken off correctly, that you are creaking the phone in a way that's kind of undesirable. So I think that the best way to remove this case is actually to approach it from the bottom, where the S Pen is. It actually has the least amount of plastic here. You take your thumbnail, go underneath the corner, then grab where that S Pen is, and simply just pop it upward and pull out. So doing it that way, I've noticed that it hasn't caused any damage to the phone, and it hasn't scratched up this chrome-like plastic on it either. Overall, I completely recommend this case. This case is awesome if you're trying to keep that form factor. It doesn't creak. It fits on there very snugly. When you drop it, it does not pop out. It will not come off unless, you know, you take it off in the way that I show you, which is probably the easiest way. So overall, it's been an excellent product. Everything is cut to precision. The S Pen is very easy to take out. There's no hindrance with the flash. There's no hindrance with the speaker here. It works just fine with the screen protector that they provide. You can set it down on the table, which is completely awesome with that lip there. So really a decent product. So please check this out, speaking.com. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can be my friend on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. You can also add me on Google+. I do have to say something about Facebook as I'm starting to get a lot more friends on there, and Facebook only lets me have 5,000 friends. So at some point, I'm going to have to convert it to a business page or a fan page or, or something so that it will have all my current friends be changed over to followers instead. It keeps my page the same, essentially, but it just keeps it so that Facebook does not shut me down. I've already been warned, you're having too many random friends and we're going to shut you down. So I'm like, whatever. So just keep that in mind. I do still use my Facebook and I will add you as a friend until I can't anymore, which I think I might be changing that in a few days. So thank you everyone for being awesome. Seriously, check this out. It's a great product. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.